Hey everybody and welcome to Heroes of the Storm. Uh, this is uh, Hades Timer and I'm just uh, dropping in to talk about the new Heroes 2.0 uh, changes that, uh, that they just announced and that are on the PTR right now. Um, I've got the trailer here for it so I'm just going to be talking over that. I purposely did no audio so that I wouldn't be competing with it. Uh, so anyway, um, I understand that a lot of people are upset, and uh, honestly, I was a little upset at first, too. Uh, very, the very first thing that struck me about this was, oh my god, you know, Blizzard is, you know, doing more free-to-play stuff in Heroes, and Heroes doesn't need more free-to-play stuff. Uh, I do like the system that they had before, that they have currently, and I know a lot of people also really like the system that they have currently and I understand that um, the problem with that attitude is that they're not really taking away what we have um, they are giving they're allowing us to keep everything that we have purchased or earned uh, up until this point uh, up until April 25th when this thing goes live and then going forward uh, they are going to give us more stuff now the thing is, of course, that the more stuff, banners, emojis, voice lines, that kind of thing that's going to drop in these loot chests, and make no mistake, I mean, there are going to be a lot of these that are going to drop in these loot chests, um, are really throwaway items. And I understand that, and I know that a lot of people, that's why maybe they're upset, because they're, they're basically making this like Overwatch, where you get one good thing every three or four loot boxes. Um, and I understand that, too. The thing is, is that m for anybody who's currently playing the game, uh, you are going to get a ton of these loot boxes for free um, that you're not going to have to have done anything to get or anything. That It's just going to be based on your uh, character level, the, the level of the character that you, you know, the, le the level that you are at now. So you could get up to, according to what I've heard, 70 free loot boxes. That's pretty damn good, um, and especially because you didn't have to really do anything to do that. You just get them. Um, so that's great. Uh, the other thing about it is that they do have ways of you paying for individual items that you want. Um, there are three currencies, which I know everybody doesn't like, but at least uh, with those three currencies, um, we can purchase the items individually that we want and we don't have to rely on the loot chests, um, which is not that much different than what, the way that was before. Uh, you earned gold and you got what you wanted. Well, you'll earn uh, gems and you'll get what you want. So it's the same kind of thing. Uh, there's not quite the one-to-one -one that there was before, and I understand that, and I get that. They are basic. They are making this system more complicated they are adding way more things to it and that is a little bit concerning only in because i'm a little worried that they're not going to make heroes as fast and that they're just going to do you know similar to overwatch they're just going to give us you know there's going to be an event and we're going to have a bunch of different emojis and different banners and it's like who, who cares um but I think it's a little too early to be that worried about this sort of thing right now. Um, this is definitely aimed at brand new players, people who um, are very much new to Heroes of the Storm, like maybe that they've never played it before April 25th, which is when this is coming out on the live servers. So for all of you that are out there who are uh, fans of Heroes of the Storm, who've been playing Heroes of the Storm for years, um, there's nothing to worry about here. Uh, you're fine. You'll be fine. You All of your stuff will transfer over to this new way of doing it. Um, everything's going to be just fine. There's only one thing that I see that I'm at all concerned about. And it wasn't until I saw the trailer uh, a couple times that I realized this. Because the trailer does go by super fast. Uh, because there's so much information and also the first time I watched it. I was like who's Cassia anyway um, The major thing that I'm a little bit worried about 
is the fact that you now have to spend shards to get uh, shaders. That is a little concerning. I mean, I'm sure we will all have the shaders that we have now, but going forward, when we uh, get a new hero and we get a new outfit, are we going to have to worry about buying shaders with shards as well? And also, of course, the amount of shards that drop from uh, when you um, disassemble an item is the amount of shards that that gives you is also maybe a little concerning because it does look like they are kind of veering more towards the uh, Overwatch model where you don't get as many sh you don't get as much currency from breaking down an item uh, as you would in, in Overwatch. It's from from uh, duplicates, so you don't get as much don't as many shards from a duplicate as you would have to spend to get that item, which is of course concerning because that is you know not a cool deal because it's hard to, it's hard to get stuff then you know particular things that you want things that aren't just going to drop. Um, but all that being said, uh, it is far too early to get mad. It's far too early to get upset. And certainly, uh, they may, because this video was so short, uh, in fact, to explain the video, I had to have two version, you know, two, uh, two instances of it, uh, you know, in this recording to be able to even explain it because the video was so short. I think that a lot of people missed out on what actually is going on. Um, and that's understandable, certainly. Um, so don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, I don't think that there's any cause for alarm. Uh, most of the major uh, streamers of Overwatch who are way more invested in this game than any of us are um, are also completely cool with this new system. So I'm not quite as worried about it just because of that. Uh, because if you've spent thousands of dollars in Overwatch not in Overwatch, if you've spent thousands of dollars in Heroes of the Storm and now they're changing the loot system, uh, if you think you're getting robbed, you know, you're going to be pretty upset, you know, regardless of your relationship with, with Blizzard. Uh, anyway, but uh, I th just think that uh, maybe, as I've stated before, I think a lot of people just uh, looked at this a little too fast, maybe had it on while they were doing something else, and uh, they didn't uh, they didn't absorb all of it, and maybe some of it was not um, related to the player, the watcher, the viewer, whatever you want to say, in the correct manner. Uh, because I, there are a lot of people who thought that Blizzard was going to, um, you know, reset everything, and you were going to have to earn everything all over again, or some kind of crazy thing. It's like no, 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 they're not doing that. Uh, everything's going to be fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, some of the things that I see here that are a little bit concerning, though, are the, of course, the shards for shaders and uh, the idea of re-rolling your loot box for gold. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that. It's It seems a little odd to me, but uh, hey, whatever. Um, we'll see how all that plays out. I think that it's, it's much better to um, wait and see how the final product will be handled rather than getting super upset right now uh, especially because at, at present um, everything points to it being a good system uh, especially for players who have been playing right along um, I'm not sure if for new players it will actually be a good system but we'll see um, see what the new player reaction to it is uh, but I'd say for a veteran player you guys you know all of us are uh, are going to be fine. Everything's going to be just fine, and everything is going to uh, everything is going to come up better for us um, than it is right now. We're going to get a lot of free stuff. Um, get a lot of probably a lot of free stuff we won't use or don't want, but also a lot of free stuff that we would never be able to have had before uh, without spending real money. So I think I mean mounts and. Uh, Mounts and uh, skins were never on the table uh, as earnable. So, uh, you know, even if you had, you know, a million gold, you still weren't going to be able to pick to buy some mounts, 
you still weren't going to be able to buy some some skins, well, any skins. Uh, so I think that that's just great. Uh, the getting rid of the master skin, uh, you know, the the master skin veterancy is a little bit crappy, and turning it into a taunt it that doesn't make me happy. But it's a very small thing in the in the realm of things, and they might change that. You know, there might be a different. They might um, eventually go back on that. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not at all. I have a bunch of master skins. I have probably about seven or eight, and um, it bothered me for about two seconds, and then I I got over it. So you guys just uh, chill. Just wait to see what Blizzard does with it. Um, of all the companies out there, of all the developers out there, Blizzard has treated us the best, and I'm sure they will continue to do that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did, and uh, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. Uh, thanks a lot, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Later.